I've been seeing online that people have been turning this lamp into a terrarium. It's just a simple lamp from Kmart and the base is made of glass. It's got no drainage holes, so it's perfect for a terrarium. All I need to do is remove the top up here and then we can get the plants in. You're gonna need some gravel for the terrarium. I'm using some darker gravel for the base and some nice white gravel for the top, which is really decorative, but you can choose whatever you want. And then I've also got some pint-sized plants. Now, these are itty bitty little plants that have been grown specifically for use in terrariums. So they're in these sweet little pots here. Keep your eyes out for them at your local garden center. And then of course, you'll also need some potting mix. I'm using this one here, which is the terrarium and fern mix from Cells. It's a superior formula that's ideal for indoor plants and terrariums. But first up, we need to pop the gravel in at the base. So in that goes. This is actually gonna act as the drainage layer for our terrarium. And it means that if there's any excess moisture, it can sit down here without rotting the plant's roots. That's about a centimetre of gravel in the bottom there, and I think that'll be perfect for the drainage. Now, in goes the potting mix. You can also, of course, use succulents in a terrarium. They work really, really well. And if you wanted to use succulents, I'd probably choose a succulent and cacti potting mix instead. All right, now for the plants. I think I might have been a bit enthusiastic. I don't know if this guy is gonna fit. I think it might be a bit too tall. So instead, I've got the gorgeous pilia, a beautiful begonia with variegated foliage. Look at that, it's just stunning. And some beautiful baby's tears as well. So now the trick is just gonna get them in here without breaking them. Let's see how I go. Because their roots are nice and small, these plants are easy to move into place. If you were using succulents, you could even use cuttings, which would be really easy to simply poke into place. Things always look better in odd numbers. And for this terrarium size, I'm going with three small plants of various heights, textures and colors. But you could keep it simple with one larger plant as well. All right, now I need to top it up with a little bit more potting mix. So I'm gonna use a trusty dessert spoon, believe it or not, because it's gonna help me get the potting mix down the sides without pouring it on top of the plants. A little bit fiddly. A few little taps to settle things into their new home. And now we can top dress with gravel. And I think I'm gonna bring out my trusty spoon again. Right, a little drizzle of water just to settle everything into its new home. One of the tricks with terrariums is making sure that you don't overwater them. But like all plants, of course, they do actually need watering. But they will create their own little microclimate. So that's probably enough for now, and I can just keep an eye on them. And now I'm ready to reattach the top. Now, I've got no idea who to credit with this idea, but I tell you what, it's one hell of a light bulb moment.